Hey everybody, welcome to another Sandia Mountain Natural History Center quick trip. Today's trip was super quick because we're right here in the museum at the center and today we're going to be talking about Ursus Americanus, the American black bear, these guys. Here at the Sandia Mountain Natural History Center we have done a lot of research on bears but one of our most exciting uh, finds was this almost complete bear skeleton right here. In the spring of 2014, we found this female uh, black bear up near Mud Spring. And we know it's a female because of the relatively narrow snout, uh, kind of the narrow pelvis, the general overall size. There's a lot of indicators that tell us it's a female. But we're gonna look a little bit closer, but some of the things we're gonna look at uh, are the teeth, the teeth tell us a little bit about the age, and in this case, we know it's a pretty old bear. Uh, we actually have a possible cause of death down here in the foot, and we have a couple other interesting things like on the ribs and uh, other parts of the body. So it's a pretty exciting find. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. So one of the main ways that we can figure out the age of an animal is by looking at its teeth. So on this one, if we look a little bit closer, we can see how flat these teeth are. They are very worn down. As a matter of fact, on this animal, they were probably worn down to about gum level. So uh, when that happens, you can actually see on this skull the, a tiny little bit of bone here. That bone starts to compensate for where the gum is. So. Uh, that's a real good indicator of age and that this was a pretty old bear. So a lot of people find it hard to believe that this bear died possibly of a foot injury. But if you start to look closer, it's a little easier to understand. If we look here, we can see these smooth toe bones here and here. But when we get to this one, it looks pretty bumpy and gnarly and kind of messed up. That is an indication of a fracture that got infected. Now, we wonder, well, it's still on the foot, but what we believe may have happened was that this infection traveled through the bear's bloodstream, got into its kidney, and, called, and caused kidney failure. And we think that because we have pictures of what we believe of this bear uh, drinking a lot at Mud Spring. And when a bear or any animal is drinking a lot, that's usually an indication of kidney failure. There are a few other indicators of age. For example, in the uh, shoulder joint here, we can see some arth osteoarthritic lipping. That's just a uh, real fancy way of saying arthritis. The bones also, though, give us a good indication of what this bear's life was like. So, for example, if we look on this rib, we can actually see an old fracture. Let's zoom in there. Yeah, that is a healed fracture from uh, possibly a fall out of a tree, maybe a confrontation with another bear. Um, but something happened to cause this rib fracture and it is a clean heel right there. So looking at these skeletons can give us a good um, window into what the bear's life was like. So here we have a uh, cast of a bear foot. And one of the things that uh, I didn't know and I found extremely fascinating when we started uh, preparing these bones for display was that inside of the claws, there are actually bones. And this is the claw that slips off of that bone and the bone is left inside. And the reason for that is if you think about it, bears uh, do a lot of work with their paws. They need to climb trees, they need to dig uh, and things like that. So their claws are not like your cat or dog at home. There is actually bone inside here encapsulated by uh, sort of what you would call their nails or whatever, but their claws. So when we found this bear, it was pretty intact, although it was 
pretty much decomposed. But um, a lot of people want to know how we got the bones so clean. And there's a couple ways of doing that. On this one, what we did was we actually boiled uh, a lot of the bones and we use a, believe it or not, fabric detergent. And that loosens up all the hair and skin and all. And then we can use things like dental tools and knives and stuff to clean it off. At the Museum of Natural History and Science, one of the things that they do is they have a big uh, box of dermestid beetles. And they'll throw an entire carcass in with the dermestid beetles. And the beetles will do the work of cleaning off the skeleton. So there's a couple ways of doing it. We did the old tried and true boil method.